Hi, welcome. This is a video about Qtile. I've just installed it in VirtualBox and Ctrl-Alt-T. It's gonna be version, uh, we don't see it anymore, sysinfo not available. Yes, it is available. Version 20.4.11. So even after a clean installation, you'll get um, a question to update, right? It's always what we do, we update. Now, I personally don't really like VirtualBox being all this dark and that's normal, that's VirtualBox for you. But there is a fix and let's include some more knowledge into our video. So we still need to rename the Compton and the Pycon things. That's also my to-do list. Let me write that down as well. So it's just a matter of renaming, right? Compton is now Pycon. So let's put all our desktops in the right name. Now, it doesn't matter what it's called, as long as it's addressed, control find virtual, that's not it, virtual. And here's a line, virtual, uh, vertical synchronization match the refresh rate of the monitor. This breaks transparency in VirtualBox. Put a hashtag before it. Right, do it. Oh, that's too much text gone now. Hashtag in front. Control S, Control S, Eric. Now it's saved. Quitting this thing. Super. Well, better start typing screen key. He's not yet installed. F12. Little Pac-Man, oops, where am I typing? VSync is true, okay. And then sudo Pac-Man minus S screen key. This is for you guys, you don't need to install it. Screen key kits. Because the screen key wasn't working properly and then decided then to go for the screen key kit. So, all right, so that's, that's working. Now, super shift D is for me the easiest way screen key we have this ugly icon up here with some preferences i think uh what was it again that i changed i changed always something the configuration is not here now i think less time close so when i press super q you'll know what i'm pressing super q okay so the pycam is now done with a control alt o control alt o this should work right so we need to fix the the pycam thing there um but um, we should be able to re-log out and log in i think so log out log in and then we have at least the transparency we like if i've done the vsync right okay i see the conky is transparent so pycam.com vsync is true and this is what I would like to see, right? It's much nicer when it's transparent. Pycom.conf. Updates will follow for the name change. That's it, nothing more. Now, the problem, I think only three days ago, was that we have a version of Qtile, right? There is always a version of a particular application. And we went from 0 0.14.2 to 15 and issues arose and our issue there's an Arch Linux issue is that at some point in time the Arco the memory that was given to us by Qtile was wrong but really wrong like 100 megabytes off right and we made our own widget an Arco memory widget now there are two things one a jump in version which leads to change something in here a module that's that's gone an import that's gone and and this one well doesn't doesn't work so we deleted that one right so this that's why this video a follow-up on all these updates so if we update our system it's going to work now because we have our new package in here that's our package that fixes everything but three days ago we just were hit with Qtile version uh, 15 or so it was. So we were just amazed that everything crashed. And we have our nice little message here. You know now what to do. Remember, if something is obstructing an installation, remove it. Now you can't remove as user, so sudo remove. 
and then you are becoming administrator root I am root you say and you just remove the stuff boom I'm pressing arrow up by the way is the screen key off again because I logged out of course of course it's not in the auto start enter this is interesting to mention as well I'm gonna make a separate video about it anyway but we've created an element in your system that's gonna look daily well not daily actually when you boot up it's gonna check if the mirrors are uh, good so you're, you're in the, now we see it right when you do an update you see it but you'll never see it it's just working in the back end and it's gonna update your uh, servers so not your servers your arch Linux servers not ours huh? the arch Linux servers will be checked what's the fastest at this point in time and it will update the mirror list so that's a cool feature the feature is actually there so that you have it in the live DVD as well since Arc Linux, Arc Linux D and Arc Linux B we download so much software we need to get the fastest Arch Linux server and that's actually why it's there during installation you get the fast downloads so is there anything you should do no since everything is fixed there's nothing you should do except one thing and that's what this video is all about for this one thing now an up all can't be wrong and don't forget a scalp because we need the new code in right so you see something moved here when you type scale we're copy pasting the new stuff from etc scale over to here when at this point in time you can't see but this one is new now after an update like that you do update scale up all pseudo reboot right you check is qtile still working now oh sorry of course boot from existing west otherwise we're going to the live dvd yeah just crashed you interesting uh, thing to know in a virtual box i don't have the uh, well the I don't want to wait so control r is rebooting it immediately now scale what does scale it overrides your system right the Compton.conf is back there so it's back the way it was now maybe let's include some more knowledge about scale and all that there are so many videos about scale already but nevertheless here's your backup right this is a date in a time so this seems to be the last one am i correct 2004 16 17 7 17 yeah that's the last one so i can compare i can do a compare between these two guys i'm gonna look for my content right i don't want to spend a lot of time well basically this you don't need anymore okay eric screen key this you don't need so super q this one i don't want to know what's the same i couldn't care less what's the same i want to know what's different right so there's something changed in the settings on the welcome app here there's an auto start yeah fine deconf righty xtunar i'm not seeing the difference in my content cute aisle is not in there that's strange so let's take everything and uh, in here are the scripts and content so maybe i made a wrong selection maybe we're talking about these two guys compare and then close up don't want to see the same termite here it is here's my pycom.conf so what i changed is just one line but nevertheless it could be your themes your icons it could be so many things right and you put them back and then you learn in the meantime, meantime you learn what's important on your system you can skip these you can skip these pycom toggle so we've changed the name here already configure future config pi so this is changed if you want to learn more 
this is what we changed. This made the system crash. That thing needed to go out. And Arco memory needed to go out. And that's it. And everything worked again. Of course, down here as well, the mentioning, of course, of the Arco, the Arco Link's memory, right, had to go. No memory. And we've switched things around, new layout, I knew the same layout, but in code, it's a little bit different. We gave you an extra widget, uh, by the way, a battery widget from uh, Arcanlex and one from Qtile. Okay, so you check that out. So this is how you learn. With Melt, you can compare and decide, ah, I'm gonna take the PyCom conf I had prior, put it back. This is what's working. The left side is the dot config. That's what's working. This is just a backup. Every time you type scale, you back up your data. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, that's working. So Control Alt O. I was thinking I have a keyboard shortcuts to reapply Compton, Compton off, Compton on, right? So my transparency is back in. Now, why this video? Just to do one thing. Well, update, sure, but also delete one thing. The thing that is no longer necessary, that even will break your system. That's the, that's the one, this one, right? Now, why don't you delete it, Eric? We do not delete anything in your home directory ever we're not gonna delete anything i think that would be wrong policy right but in etc scale let's put uh etc scale let's do this put it here all right check it out config q tile there is no more memory we are not copy pasting memory because we know it will break your system. So when you do a scale, the old stuff always stays. Right? So it's up to you to do delete. What's now in ETC scale is gonna be the same as what we have here. And that's basically my message. From time to time, you have to clean stuff up. In this case, it's important because if you're trying to get this Arco memory to work, you will fail unless you, you start really changing uh, the little script there. But basically, delete it. And now have fun with the config pi. Now, <clears throat> maybe you're wondering why the config uh, pi here in the config future. Super X, right? Control Alt K, okay, right? Now you know my password. There is something new. What is new? Again, melt, compare. Then you see, let's do this super F. You see that Obi logout will be replaced with Arco Linux logout. Is that even installed? sudo pacman minus S. Arco Linux logout. Aha, it's not installed. It's bringing lots of stuff in. Arco Linux logout is bringing i3 log color, better log screen, and our personal GUI Arco Linux better log screen git. Enter. This is gonna be the ISO of May, right? Where we have made that switch. Now we're using OB logout. We will use Arclinux logout in the future. Slim lock, the black screen with the dial, it's gonna be Arclinux logout. Slim lock, that's gone. This particular keyboard binding, because in 15, sorry, 16, 16 desktops, we need to have the same keyboard shortcuts and I've cleaned them a little bit out there as well. And one more. Obi logout, the class here to be floating or not, Arcanix logout. So everything has changed. Now, this is beta testers work, right? So that's, uh, well, 
super f is what I want to do. That's beta work. But if you're up to it, only thing you have to do, well, what scripts will have to do later on, is ch change this from name and change this from name. Right? Super shift R. Reload. Super X. And you'll get this nice logout. Reboot, shut down, suspend, hibernate, lock. And I see this is still an old version, but that's okay. We are developing this uh, particular tool. Ctrl K is working. Ctrl L is working. So the lock screen, maybe I want to see that as well. It takes a while, first time. It takes a standard default image, and now it's uh, cropped and, and dimmed and blurred and all that, and it's cached. So next time, Ctrl K, and I press lock, boom, it's quick, right? Because the images were created. All right, but that's beside the point. That's not what I intended to tell you in this video, but I keep on blabbering. But okay, knowledge sharing is what we do. That's what we're for. That's why we, I think, excel. That's our strong uh, selling point. Basically, the video was there to delete Arco memory. All right, cheers.